Welcome, Wizard Apprentices. It's time for more visual workflow. Today, we're going to take a look at Record Create. Before we build our flow, let's think what we want our flow to do. We want to make it really easy for our users to be able to create a contact as well as the account it should be associated to. So we're going to start with a user input, which would then go to create the actual account followed by the contact. The elements we'll need for this is we'll need a record create element to create the account and then a second record create to create the contact. And of course we need a screen element to elicit the information from our end users for what should go into the account and the contact. In addition, we're going to have two extra screen elements, which will be used for purposes that we'll talk about later. Here we are at our familiar palette and canvas. We're going to start with our screen element. This is going to be for collecting the account and contact information. And uh, we're going to need to know the account name. We'll need the first name and the last name for the contact. We'll ask, so grab the email address and phone number. So a lot of text boxes. Let's also put a display here for some directions. And we'll start modifying this. So we'll start this with directions. Please complete the field. And here will be the account name. This will be first name, last name, email address, and phone number. You'll also want to make sure that the information we absolutely need is because it required. So let's make these fields all required except for the phone number. Okay. Now our next step is we need to create the actual account and contacts. So to do that, we're going to be using record create. So let's talk about what a record create actually is. Obviously record create is going to create records. It does this by taking in field values and creating the record based on the values we set. In addition to that, you can assign a variable to be the record ID in your flow. So let's start with the record create for the account. So we're gonna say create account. We'll select the object. What I like is this does accept type ahead. And now we define the field values. So for this particular one, we only know what the name of the account is going to be. And we're going to select our screen input account name. Now we need to assign the record ID for this account to a variable. So we're going to select create new and a variable. And I'm going to name this VR account ID. I like to start things with VR VAR simply because it makes it easier to find later. Click OK. Let's do the same to create the contact. Now we have a few more fields here for our contact that we're going to be adding. Um, one of those fields is going to be one of those fields is going to be the first name. Then we'll have the last name, email, and of course the phone number. And we'll select the appropriate screen inputs for this. First name, last name, email, phone number. Now, we can't stop here because we need to let Salesforce know what is the account this a contact is going to be associated to. So here we're going to define the account ID. And this is where that variable came in. So I'm just going to have to type VR and there's my variable. We could assign a variable here if we're going to reference this contact ID someplace else. And just for consistency sakes, that's exactly what we're going to do. It wouldn't be normally required uh, unless you're going to be referencing someplace outside of your flow or somewhere else within your flow, but we're going to use that from here. 
Now this is a pretty straightforward flow. Our account is going to go from our start screen to create our account and then create our contact. <clears throat> we could be considered done right now, but you remember we had those two extra screens and those are going to be used for something special. These are our debug screens. Now it's important to have a debug screen when you're using flow with screens. And the reason for that is because if your flow causes an error or faults out, you want some place for the uh, user to go to. You don't want it just to house an error. So I always like to have a little message here that says uh, your account could not be created. Please contact your admin with the following information. Here we're going to use a special type of system resource that is called the fault message. This is the message that flow will display when there's an error. So we're going to click OK. And now when we select their arrow down to the screen, you'll see it now says fault. This will only work uh, for record crates and fast crates and so forth if it's already tied to another arrow. So if, you, if I went and used this particular arrow, you'll notice we'll just get a normal direct. We don't want that. But let's create our screen first. I'm going to use the handy dandy copy and paste. And we're going to make some minor modifications here since I want to make sure it says it's contact that aired out. And click OK. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of do a little loop here just to get the fault and then delete the arrow. Now our flow is actually done. Let's give it a try, shall we? So let's first save this. Count. Contact create. We'll give it a name. And of course, we always give it a description. And let's run this. So we'll hit run. And we're just going to fill this in with the wizard news, my name, my email address, and we'll leave phone number blank. You'll notice the red ticks. We'll hit next. And we're done uh, with our, because this is a test, we don't have a place to go to. There's no redirect, so it's just starting the form over again. However, let's go take the look and see if we can find the account. Here we are, the wizard news. And there's my contact. So there's a very basic flow on taking some inputs and then creating a couple of records. Now, obviously this isn't all that useful as is. So next time we'll talk about how can we put this flow to practical use with our end users. Thanks for watching Wizard Apprentices. Remember the magic is out there. It's yours for the taking. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment.